You know what? It's about time. I feel like it's been several weeks since we've gotten another episode of My Hero Academia. And they left off on such a cliffhanger. Because after all this time, with all these heroes getting beat up time after time, Deku finally makes it to the Sky Coffin. And thank goodness for Lamillion's butt. Now we get to see Deku versus Shigaraki. Now, I'm not too sure how this fight's going to go. Because, for instance, Sh Shigaraki is in this new form. So we don't really know. He, he seems strong, but I don't know how strong he is. And he still has that back and forth between his younger self. But then Deku... Right now, he has a straight head. But I feel like when he sees the other heroes, and then when he sees Bakugo, I feel like his men his mentality, his mental, oh, is going to shatter. And I don't think that's a that's a benefit for him. So without further ado, let's get straight on into it. Make sure with the original content, as always. All right, let's get going in three, two, one, and go. To ensure victory in this war, the heroes enacted a plan that scattered our enemies across the country. I love how they always start off with the map. At that very moment, I was racing away from Okoto Island, a place I was never supposed to be. Gosh, they, like, of course, he, he ends up in the furthest away one. He couldn't have been warped to the ones that's like literally two steps away from each other. I'm not going fast enough. Midoriya, I have a bad feeling I just can't shake. Mm. About mm. what? It feels like all for one's quirks keep increasing in number. Okay, so this is when he used the airy quirk. Okay, here, U.S. U.S.A. We gotta get you back to campus fast. We've got orders to return home, but we're staying here in Japan to assist in your battle instead. Do you know why? Because you're expendable? Because of her. Or th yeah, that, that too. You've got to defeat the worst villain in history. Got that? Sir! Brought a peach for ya! <laughs> and he had a crazy one-liner. What a great visual. I'm sorry it took me so long. Is everyone all No, everyone's not alright. Yeah. You're looking away from Shigaraki for too long right now. And he's gonna blame himself because that, that's you what he tell does. Him why you're late? Toga's the one to blame, right? How, how'd you know that? Midoriya, go on. Avoid taking responsibility. Just like no, everybody else No, you're falling into the trap. Oh no. Oh no. That's not good. We haven't lost yet, Deku! Oh, come on. You Talk some sense into him, please. I know you're feeling super guilty. Got it, but stay strong. We will win this! That's the mindset you need to battle with! We haven't lost a single thing that can't be regained yet! You know what? Gotta love Mirio. Sound far-fetched? Well, just you wait. A hero's job is to oh, make certain I miss that all my... promises come true. It's fine to get mad. Rage can be the source of incredible strength. But you need control, and not mm -hmm. just over your body, but over your emotions as well. You're right, Lamillion. Heck yeah. I'm sorry. Save your apologies for after we've won this war, hero. All right, here we go. Oh, Tell that's me. sick. Is Shigaraki still somewhere inside that's, of that body? That's pretty sick. What you see before you is two people who've melted into a single being. No, all for one is the consciousness in charge. See, the, the, the young Shigaraki is trying to get out. Is it look so cool? Fused together inside one body? That's not true. I said something kind of mean earlier, and it was like another person. I'm the mean. Oh, I get it. You're upset because you've never had any friends. That's his mean talk. He got crazy upset, panicky. He acted like a little Deku's kid. Deku's gone definitely trying to use that to his like advantage. By someone else. I don't know how though. I like the whole head thing she Rocky's got going on. I believe we got all of his powers. Can't think of anything that we're missing. Yeah, you seen the family? Yup. He's still in there. Goodness. She's not even phased. I'm coming for my brother. For your brother? Oh, okay, yeah. Sorry. Trying to differentiate between the two. Like, Shigaraki doesn't have a brother. 
What the heck is that? Oh. Oh. Boosted binding combo. Black chain. Gotta love it. Once you use this, it's over. I'm going to stop you. What is this power? Transmission. What the heck is that? Second gear. Top gear. What the heck is that? Don't tell me. The ability to change a person's speed after touching them. Gear shift. Overdrive. Oh my goodness gracious. And at this moment, Izuku Midoriya is exceeding his perceived limits. He's operating at 120%. I have so many goosebumps right now. The amount of visual stimulus that I have. I don't. Going back to the past. What is this that can change the speed of things you touch? Interesting. But it only works on small objects. You were an insect. Not worthy of my notice. Until now. Now we can do bigger objects, I guess. That's so the difference. Why? why can I see you now? Oh my gosh. I would be so scared if I went up against Deku. My power has transformed over the years, expanding along with one for all as it grew stronger. Gear shift could only be used on smaller objects. Now it can be applied to objects on a cellular level. A cellular? It can be channeled into a fist, and a single punch can break the laws of reality itself. Detroit Smash! A single punch can break the laws of reality. Deku, okay, you, you're very strong. Well, let's not break the the whole world right now. I can at least anticipate the angle and timing of his next move. Can you? He, he just stopped. He, he stopped midair. Low gear. This guy is shifting. He's shifting. Again! This time I'll attack this with every power available to me. Ridiculous. Take a look at what they use it for. Gene. Or rather, sense. who they use it for. Black whip. Actual strength. Uh, smoke True screen. Power is Blood. born of a person's will. It's a hope. I don't know. Uh, Figaroki has Overwatch. not had Shut anything. Up, damn it! <laughs> Get the freak out of the way. Uh, this hit better take him out because I don't think this coffin can handle it. Yeah, everyone should just give up being the number one hero after seeing this. Because there's no way you can compete. <laughs> this sensation. That young man with the peculiar eyes was correct. Something isn't right. The peculiar eyes. All this fighting. It's affecting the balance of their union. This is it, boy. Don't forget what Shimura asked you. Take him out. I believe Tomura is beyond redemption. Is he actually going to follow them? Or is he going to do an Aang and find a way to save him? Attacking with every power available to you? All of your quirks? You're trying to make me look like a fool. I mean, I he's done a pretty a good job. This is their fault. The arena's to blame, too. And the trick they used to split us up. All of it! I know, isn't it pretty great? Oh, that does not look good. There's still something. You don't grasp the events I've set in motion. No, there's no way. Victory is still well within my reach. Gosh dang it. I think an all for one is always does this. Like we get to a point of where the, the heroes seem to have an upper hand. They are winning. 
there's no way they can lose. And then all, all for one says something or shows us something that completely just sways our opinion about it. Because this fight scene, th I mean, this fight in general, it was so one-sided. I'm surprised it took the whole episode. Like this episode was, I, I could just see the creators and the people animating this being like, Okay, how do we how do we hype up Deku as much as possible? Because honestly, it's been for at least for me. I don't know about everybody else, but it's been a while since we've seen Deku kind of go completely all out. I mean, when he was in his vigilante phase, I mean, that's when we got kind of the closest thing to it. And I don't even know how long that was. It felt like it's been a while. So our hype about Deku has kind of dwindled. I mean, we know how strong he is, but actually seeing it, it's it's a lot different. So seeing him use all the powers, including overdrive or gear shift, whatever you want to call it, and use them so effectively is such a crazy thing. Like, if I was a hero in this day and age and I saw Deku fighting Shigaraki right now, I would give up trying to be number one hero. Honestly, I would probably give up trying to be the top 10 because I would think that the top 10 people would have to be somewhere around Deku's level. Deku's like absolutely annihilating Shigaraki, which is great. <laughs> here's here's my thing. I think if he can some somehow destroy Shigaraki to where all for one cannot fully transfer over. That way all for one's body that is like regressing in age will eventually die off. So we will finally end the whole lineage of all for one. That's the best case scenario. The only problem I have with that is when Deku wants to save Shigaraki, which I don't know how effective it's going to be. Two, we also heard that All For One's old body is going to try to come to this coffin area and try to save Shigaraki. And we don't exactly know what's going on over there. Like how close is how close is he to the, co the coffin? And then All For One starts talking about the stuff that he has had in place, which I mean, we've heard earlier on in the season of how how much stuff he has going all at once and if one thing shuts down there's another thing that he can go towards so he has dobby over here and then he has spinner doing whatever spinner's doing i don't know how effective these two lanes are going to be compared to his main thing of transferring to shigaraki but i wouldn't doubt he has a full well thought out plan if he were to go down but these things are still around goodness gracious but anyways that was my reaction to my hero academia season 7 episode 13. if you like my reaction make sure to like and subscribe because if we know anything more put a comment section down below i'll see you guys next time bye